Hi there and welcome to my channel, Selena Style Designs. I'm Selena, the interior designer, stylist and furniture refinisher based in Sydney behind the channel. On today's video, I'm going to be giving you a very renter friendly and budget bedroom makeover. I've been meaning and really needing to make over my own bedroom for a while now. Um, unfortunately, this room had become a bit of a storage come dumping ground for all my furniture pieces that I didn't have anywhere to store in the rest of my apartment. So this bedroom unfortunately became the storage ground for all these pieces. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I made over and transformed this space. So if you want to see this room transformation, continue watching. So let me give you a tour of this space. So right now I've currently got a sideboard, a really big oversized dresser and a single bay cabinet. This is definitely not your typical bedroom. Um, because I refinish furniture in an apartment, I do tend to use any space available to store furniture. And unfortunately the bedroom was one of these zones. But I definitely need to make over this space and reclaim it back as a bedroom the plan for this room is to remove those three bulky furniture pieces. Probably will sell one of those and keep two of them and just move them somewhere else in the apartment. And I'm going to replace that sort of really long space with three malm dresses because they really give great storage and they'll help anchor that really large wall and help me create a lovely little vignette and focal point in the bedroom. The first thing I like to do when I'm designing or styling a space is to create a mood board. I find a mood board's a really great way of visualizing all the different elements, textures and colors that I want to incorporate in a space. So in this room, I really wanted to have a lovely tropical kind of resort like feeling that was light and airy but had some really interesting textures and colors just to lift up the space as well. So to begin this bedroom budget makeover we've got to do some rearranging so let's get to it. Okay, so we've rearranged the bed and we've got the bed head and that back wall all set up. So now all I have to do is make over this wonderfully long empty space here. So all I did was ended up moving over these two mound dresses and I ended up buying one more just because the sizing actually made more sense to have three rather than two. And because it's such a long wall, I wanted to make sure that I anchored the space because it is such a big blank wall that if I went too small, it'd feel a bit sort of empty and it wouldn't scale wise well with the artwork that I'm thinking of putting on. So first thing I'm going to do is put together this little vignette here and then this room's almost done. So let's get started. So this room has really transformed the clutter that it was and I can't believe I used to sleep in that. That's kind of horrendous to think about. But this room is now so much more tranquil, peaceful and it does give me a really lovely holiday vibe. So I think this was a great translation of the mood board that I made. So let's do a little reminder of what this room looked like before. So this is the view coming into the room and it's quite an overcast day so I do have the lights on. So this is the view that you come into into the room. So I love this textured bed head. It's a lovely sort of duck egg soft blue and then I tried to contrast that with some lovely refinished bedsides in a darker blue because I wanted that contrast between the light and the dark. And then I brought those colours onto the bedding as well. So this is a lovely canther quilt that has these really lovely stitching details and these beautiful cushions which I think are just so fun and they bring in a lot of the green colors and that tropical vibe from the artwork as well. And these lamps are one of my statement lamps that I've always loved. It has these really lovely ceramic 
details and they're kind of speckled. So this is a really nicely neutral piece that if I want to change up the style, I can do quite easily. And these lovely little trinkets are available from my website, renewedlivingstudios.com.au and I'll link that shop for you below. So this is the marble candle holder and the glass beads in the sea foam color. And this gorgeous decorative hardware piece made out of camel bone is called Apollo and is also available from my website. So that's this side of the room. And then these are the Ikea curtains that just diffuse the ugliness, unfortunately, of these Venetian blinds, which all apartments always seem to have. And then this is the other side of the room. So if you can remember, I had all my kind of tall boy other sideboard and it was just getting too much. And as I was flipping quite a lot of furniture, this room became unfortunately a secondary storage space. So it's really calm and tranquil. And you can see the greens pick up really nicely with this horizon artwork. It has some nice textures in that as well, but it's still quite a soft and neutral piece that it isn't too loud and distracting. And that's the full view. So I'll just give you a little close up of all the different details here. So this lamp was thrifted and I remember falling in love with these really cool details. And then I've got a lovely coffee table book and this really lovely, I think it's a letter opener and it's actually from my dad's office. And I just loved the jade detailing. Got some beads and faux plants here. Some jewelry display and storage. A little bit of real greenery, so that's a philodendron there. And these are all little sculptural timber pieces that I've collected and thrifted over the time. And those anchor in really nicely to my jewelry box. So at least I've got a color story that works really well there. And then I've got a Dracaena plant that is actually just sitting in water. And what happens is that they root on their own, which is pretty cool. So there's no need to water that plant. I just have to top up when it gets a little bit empty, but these plants do really well indoors, have some nice green texture and foliage. And this is one of my absolute favorite finds. It is a limestone pot plant that I got from Salvos for 40 bucks. And those things, they go in marketplace for about 200 or plus. So really happy with that find. And as you can see, the scale of three mound dresses works really well. There's still enough clearance to come and walk in and pull these all out. That's always a consideration when you've got a walkway through your space is how much access can you pull out your drawers as well. I'm so happy with how this budget bedroom makeover turned out. In the end, all up the pieces that I bought only cost me $168. So that was the new Ikea curtains, the fiber stone pot, and the one extra mound dresser. So that was a really budget friendly way of updating and refreshing the space. Another thing that I did was just shop my home. So the bed head, I ended up switching from my spare room and just changed that over. And then all the cushions and all the accessories, I just shopped around my home and collected the pieces and then styled them up in my bedroom. I'll be linking all the products that I use below and all the accessories and the decor items that I highlighted that are from my shop. And if you sign up to my emailing account on Renewed Living Studios, you get 10% off your first order Order as well and I do ship internationally. If you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to learn more about interior styling design and furniture flipping and makeovers. So thanks for watching and see you next time.